Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And today we're going to answer the common question of should I keep cigars in the cellophane you buy them in or should you take them out of the cellophane? So Paul, now this is a, a subject of debate for many, many years. Should we or should we not keep it in cellophane? What do you think? The answer is... It depends. <laughs> As always, it depends. So, you know, uh, cellophane itself is not plastic. Cannot stress that enough. It is not a petroleum-based plastic product. It's actually a plant-based product. Uh, so it's not plastic. It is a two-way membrane. Mm. Uh, and one of the interesting things about cellophane that I found out recently from uh, Rob at Bavida, um, who is the presenter of their box press uh, series, is that cellophane actually slows down humidity exchange by seven times over just a cigar out in the open here so we're in a, a lower rh environment uh, mm -hmm. just sitting here in the studio than it would be inside a humidor such as this so these cigars are losing humidity seven times faster than these ones left in uh, cellophane so that is actually a consideration of whether you want to keep them in or out of cellophane mm. if you think they're going to be exposed where we have these uh, examples of uh, travel humidors here you know mm. um, now a lot of people also talk about uh, you should keep them in cellophane if you have a varied collection because they might transfer oils and contaminate each other and taint each other's uh, flavors it, is there any I mean, truth I think, to that? Uh, I think there's partial truth to it um, mm. I've seen a lot of different um, answers and responses to that uh, mm. I'd say if you've got a lot, a lot of singles, um, particularly where there's a lot of varying sizes, um, just maybe keeping the cellophane more to protect each other. If you're like me and you buy boxes uh, mm. fairly often, and uh, just say here we've got you know one cigar next to another cigar, I don't, I don't, I don't see that as a huge problem in a uh, humidor um, itself. Uh, but if you've got different cigar, different cigar, different cigar, then you know maybe there is some truth to it, but. I don't think you have to worry too much about co-mingling. Okay. You know? So right. um, that wouldn't be my immediate gut reaction as to why to you know keep them in or out. Yeah, <laughs> have some technical difficulties here with the with the one travel humidor. So mm. so yeah, I mean, uh, so I think what we've really got to focus in on is kind of use cases of whether to keep them in or out mm. of cellophane. So if you've got a desktop humidor such as this one here, and you feel like you're just going to keep the uh, cigars. Um, in there in a permanent fashion, I would say take them out of the cellophane um, because they're going to take on some of that that wood flavor, which mm. is something that you really appreciate. Oh, I absolutely love it. You know. That said, I have been grateful that uh, I kept some cigars in cellophane because I have had a slight infestation of beetles when they're in cellophane, and you've got a little beetle. This is noticeable by a little hole in your cigar and a little bit of dust. Uh, they can't, or they'll have much more difficulty escaping a cellophane environment and transferring and infesting other cigars. If your cigars are naked, they can make a very quick infestation of everything. So it's something just to keep in mind, is this something that you've run into before, or if there's something that's never happened? Luckily I haven't. I mean, usually when you're getting beetles or mold, you've either got mm. a RH problem, exactly. or you've got a temperature problem. Mm. And we have videos here on how to store cigars properly. Mm. So that may help you in, in that scenario. The one place I would say, for example, with these travel humidors, is it depends on the travel humidor itself. So mm. I have this one here, this hard case, and it actually has foam dividers where you can place the cigars in and then stack the layers. So in that case, you may be okay to have, um, you know, uncellophane cigars because mm. they're a little bit more protected as where with this one with the Calibri and then your travel case, mm. where it's just kind of a, a round container, the cigars can roll around a little bit more. I so actually you... had some Kid LC Cubans in there that I brought back from uh, from the UK to, to smoke with some friends, and they uh, they were they were naked in there, no cellophane. I pulled them out, and the wrappers were completely destroyed. I was absolutely crushed. And yeah. so were the cigars. Yeah, and I mean a lot of the time, if you think about you you're standing the cigar on the foot, the the, the wrappers are very very fragile. Mm. So if you're putting uh, intense pressure on that edge all the time. Uh, that's where you're going to get the damage and even me just flicking it with my finger mm. I'm breaking the wrap of it. I don't know if you can see it in the uh, camera too mm. but uh, yeah I mean it all comes down to I think um, beetle issue aside mm. I think the main consideration is it am I going to travel or mm. am I not going to travel and if you're going to okay. travel especially with cases like this where there's a goal of cigars can roll around mm. and even ones like this where they can potentially slip from side to side I'd probably say keep them in cellophane 
Uh, if you've got a lot of singles, maybe keep them in cellophane for the um, you know the diffusion of flavors to different cigars. But if you're really going to just stick to a, a desktop, curador, or other sort of a humidor static position, um, then I'd say you could probably get them naked and mm. um, you know take advantage of all the care and attention you put into making sure that your uh, humidor is correctly seasoned. Video below on how to do that and is optimal um, RH so these cigars mature and uh, you basically get better, better value for money over time. Mm. Fascinating. So with that being said, you've probably guessed by now, there's a bunch of links in the description below to different videos we have around cigar storage and enjoying one of these, uh, one of the greatest uh, pleasures in life. Mm. And uh, please add any comments or questions you have below whether you disagree with us or if you have anything constructive to say. Also trolls, welcome, as it always makes us laugh. Uh, please like this video if you found it helpful. Joel? Tickle that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> he was smashing it yesterday, he's tickling it today. So with that being said, my name is Paul Anthony from Bespoke Unit. And I'm CP, and also I'm... from Bespoke Unit. <laughs> <laughs> We're both from Bespoke Unit. <laughs> Crazy coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. So anyway guys, see you next time. Take care.